Um, this is going to be part A. The dust that was in Harper Woods, Jonathan Welsh. Thanks, Kay, in the prior video. Um, so the Harper Woods Dusty, the one that allegedly, you know, he hurt his ex-girlfriend. Then the bond was posted, $10,000 bond. Then once he was bonded out, he was released, uh, allegedly killed the girlfriend and the stepfather, stabbed the mother. Well, the mother succumbed to her injuries. Let's go ahead and look at this clip. This will be part A, okay, just for viewer, viewership. And then on part B, I will provide the commentary, okay? So here we go. Check it out. Fair use. Unbelievable. Oh, yes. Heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. As Jonathan Welch remains behind bars for allegedly killing his ex girlfriend, mm. Zalea Frazier, and his stepfather, Robert Bray Jr., Bray's daughter says she has received even more devastating news about Welch's mom. I learned that she passed away Saturday. Flossie Nicole mm. Bray was allegedly stabbed during a horrifying incident that took place inside this Harper Woods home last week, where prosecutors say Welch barricaded himself inside his mom's home, shot at police, set the house on fire, mm. and then allegedly killed Frazier and Bray Jr. Robin Thomas says the family was hoping Flossie would survive. He's been on life support since it all happened. <laughs> And we all was hoping that she pour it through. The heartbreaking news of Flossie's passing comes as Thomas is still trying to process that her father tragically became a victim of violence. I'm mm. mixed with all different kind of emotions because my father, he was a good man and he didn't deserve to go down the way he did. Bray served in the Air Force, worked as an LPN, and was recovering from an operation as he battled lung cancer. Fourth of July. Mm. We FaceTime, and that was after his surgery, and he was looking so good, and he was just moving around, and he was well, and, you know, he was he was happy. Welch was a defendant in a crime allegedly targeting his ex-girlfriend, where he received several charges, including torture and criminal sexual conduct, third degree. Welch was arraigned on those charges, and bond was set at $100,000, 10% cash or surety with GPS tether. The defendant made bond and was released from the Wayne County Jail. And two days later, this horrifying incident began in Harbor Woods. Thomas believes the court made a major mistake by allowing a bond for Welch. The things he did to that young lady is horrifying, and he shouldn't have been that out on the street. Now Thomas is hoping the community can help her through this tragedy and give her father the funeral he deserves. I really taking a toll on me because um, right now I'm not working and I don't have the funds to try to get him a proper um, funeral. Um, and just trying to get documentation for him. I can't get in the house. To learn how you can donate, go to fox 2 Detroit. Wow. So we are on the GoFundMe. Anyway, people, uh, this is part A. Thanks for watching. I'll return with part B, the commentary. Thank you.